Almost two months after the passing away of her husband, King Goodwill Zolitini, Queen Mantfombi Lamini Zulu, aged 65, who has been holding the fort until a successor was identified, has died. The cause of the death of the queen, whose children include Prince Mrs. Zulu, Prince Letkutula the Late, and Princess Sibusile, was not immediately announced. Announcing her death, Prince Moasutu Utelezi, the traditional prime minister to the Zulu nation and king, said the queen's death took everyone in the royal court by surprise. It is with the deepest shock and distress that the royal family announces the unexpected passing of Her Majesty Queen Shiyue Mantfombi Lamini Zulu, regent of the Zulu nation. This has taken us by surprise and left us utterly bereft. It is true that the Lord alone knows the days that he has allotted to each one of us. On behalf of the royal family, I wish to assure the nation that while we are all rightly grief-stricken, there will be no leadership vacuum in the Zulu nation. Further announcements of Her Majesty's funeral and the necessary arrangements will be made in due course. May Her Majesty, our Regent, rest in peace, Butelezi said in a statement. Being of royal blood since she was the daughter of the late King Sobuza of Eswatini and sister to King Mswati III, it was widely expected that one of her sons would take over the throne. After the passing of King Goodwill Zwalitini aged 72, on March 12 this year, and subsequent burial a week later, a will identified here as the designated one to act on the throne until a successor is found. The successor was widely expected to be named towards the end of June this year, when the three-month mourning of the royal house ends. Lamini Zulu spent most of her time at Waketum Dayo Palace in Nongoma, northern KwaZulu-Natal, and it is expected that most of the grieving and funeral arrangements will take place in the coming days.